In this video, I'm going to show you one of the coolest defensive tips that I've pretty much found all season. And this is something that is really, really effective against any formation. Um, I'm going to be going over it today against spread formations such as trips or spread wide flex or doubles. Those are all good formations to use this with. It's not exactly a great tip for compression sets like tight offset, bunch, bunch tied in. We have other defenses for that that I've broken down here on the channel. And I've also got ebooks on that, that where we walk you through why this is a better coverage for spread, whereas this is a better coverage for compression and why that is the case. So really excited to break this down today. And I just wanted to start this off with a two by two spread look. And this is one of the many things that I love about our big nickel defense. Now, if you're new to the channel or you haven't heard, we just put out a big nickel over G uh, massive defensive guide in our Patreon page. And the Patreon is only $10 to sign up for and it gets you access to everything. Patreon's where I put all my eBooks there. We've got over 27 offensive and defensive guides available in the Patreon page. And we've also, in addition to that, we do weekly videos where we basically kind of break down high level stuff, high level tips, um, you know, kind of just little ins and outs of the game so that you can understand it on a, on a deeper level. But I really want to, to, to break this down for you. This is a huge tip about the big nickel over G. And it's one of the many things that I really like about it. It's my favorite defense in the game. Um, I feel like last year, uh, uh, as the game, once I hit like about this time in the game, this became my, I found this defense and ironically I said I was gonna run it in Madden 22 all year. And then I ended up finding some other stuff. And then now it's just kind of funny to be circling back around to this, but this defense is so, so, so powerful. And it literally has everything in it. Um, what I like to do here for this tip is we're gonna be putting the slot cornerback package on the field. And then really important, I like to have auto flip off, auto alignment set to base, really, really important. And then what you wanna do is in your audibles, you're gonna see here that I'm gonna put the cover one hole. That is really important for how we're gonna run this defense. And then what you wanna do is you basically wanna come out in any zone play. And the reason you wanna come out in any zone play is it's gonna give you kind of a really cool alignment uh, with this coverage. So I'm just gonna come out and cover four palms. And what you'll see here is I'm gonna to go to cover one hole. Now you'll notice when I audible, nothing, I mean, they move a little bit, but really not that much. And the other thing you'll notice is when I show blitz, look where the slot goes. You see, he's gonna go into kind of a cool um, spot against this guy. If you wanna depress him, I'll show you real quick. You'll see here, like if I run a streak, he won't quite be able to press him in that spot, but I will show you what you can do to get that. All you would need to do is just unbase align. So if you go here and then we're gonna unbase align show blitz, you see now you'll get the press animation on these two inside guys. And this is an interesting coverage. And, and basically when I run this, I like to use her this guy, um, but literally it's probably the best spread D in the game or, I mean, it's really good D. So all we're gonna do with this is we're gonna kind of run this like a, like a quarters, um, but we're gonna invert our meg rules. What I mean by that is, I've taught quarters before where basically you have an inside quarter here, an inside quarter here, and then these guys are remain coverage. We're gonna teach the opposite of that today. Uh, and, and you're gonna see why in a second. So we're gonna put the outside guys in outside quarters. And what makes this defense so good is these outside quarters are basically kind of like cover three buzz match type of zones you can actually do if you wanted to do it from zone you could do it from cover three buzz match um, because the seam flats will carry up and out but what's really good about these cover one hole is i can i mean i can blitz from this right like we could just go boom and and throw this guy in a blitz in a blitz look and now you see here that these quarter zones will play really good coverage on the deep vertical routes that those players are on one of the other things that you'll notice about this is let's say that I run, let's say that I run these guys on like a smash concept on both sides of the field. Basically what you're getting with this, with this coverage check is you're getting man to man, the cover one hole, they're gonna play man to man on them. Um, 
Um, but what's really cool about that man-to-man -man coverage is most of the route running abilities that a lot of people like to use, like deep out of lead or some of that stuff, it basically won't activate on these in particular uh, coverages. So you see they stay down, and then you'll notice that, of course, like if they have a really good route running, then they can throw that. But what I like to do, um, what, what I like to do with this is you could also do this out of, dang it, I forgot to bring it out. Um, you could also do this out of cover three match, and this is another reason why I think cover three buzz match is one of the best coverages in the game. Um, cover three buzz match is just such an interesting coverage this year. It's a very effective zone defense. Um, but basically what we're going to do against this is we're going to outside quarter these guys and then we're going to trust our seam flats. Um, what we would want actually probably is a cover three match because the safety will be on that. So let me, let me come out in a cover three match actually. And we'll just come out. It doesn't matter what come out. So you'll see right here. Now you get these seam flats. So what does a seam flat do? A seam flat, especially in two by two like this will actually take them up and out. So like if you get a four verticals concept like this, you're still gonna be in good shape. You'll see these seam flats will match. You've got your user carrying and the outside quarters do their job. Now where this really becomes interesting is how we can use this defense to create one of the most powerful match coverages in the game for two by two. So let's say for example, so you have these outside quarters out here and you have these hook curls, right? And then you're just gonna use her you're basically looking for the crossing route, but essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to run, you know, some kind of like deep dig route or skinny post or like any of these, any of these routes. And what you'll see with this, like let's say they run a concept like this, this cover three buzz match is going to do such a good job at topping this route. It's kind of similar um, to the way inside quarters behave like against bunch. I did a tip video on that. And showing showing how to defend bunch better with these routes like you can use this and cross apply it so that's why it's really good for spread because basically it's you get this really nice press on the slots and then these outside dudes are really good at cutting uh, undercutting like in routes and like deep in routes deep post routes stuff like that or staying on top of vertical routes um, the one route that I find that can be interesting is an out if i throw an out here you see that i can kind of fit that in so that's just something to be aware of but the next thing that i want to show you with this is how this relates to trips tight end and why this is um so good against or not just trips tight end but any trips formation it doesn't really matter if it's trips tight end i'll show it out a tray open actually while i'm thinking about it because i want to show you why i really love how this defense plays so again you want to come out in a match coverage and you want to audible to cover one hole so now I'm in cover one hole. With this in particular one, you you kind of can't um, you can't really get away with the seam flats because they won't match very well. But you'll see what I can do is even better. So we're gonna inside quarter this guy King. We're gonna outside quarter the two outside corners, and then we're gonna blitz our user right in here. Now, if we were worried, they can throw a zig to that slot on the right side of the screen. So you might want to, you know, there's some things you could do. Um, for example, I'll give you an easy one. Um, just purple the D end and purple that safety on that side. You can see like something like this. You know, just do something like this and you'll get really good coverage out of this. But what you'll see, what makes this so good is this wide corner play one of the best post routes in the game. You'll see here, his route running ability did light up and I'm able to kind of fit it in there. But for the most part, that will bag it. You can also do some shading. Um, you can also kind of shade these coverages as well um, if you wanted to do something like that. Another thing you can do against trips formations in particular that I like is you could go man align. And the reason you might want to go out, especially out of cover one hole, it makes a lot of sense to do this because you can still roll this guy down. And, and you know, there's, there's certain situations and all that. But if they audible to it, it's a little bit different. But anyways, you can, you can still kind of have a blitz look from this. Like we can send pressure off this left side with our loop blitz. There's a lot we can do here. And if you had auto flip on, you could have, you would basically, it would basically look like this. Um, it might be a little different. Like this guy would be in man coverage here. This guy would probably be in a third, you know, but anyways, the bottom line is you would have something that looks kind of like this. And then again, outside quarter, outside quarter, you can inside quarter that safety that's rolled over the number three receiver. So it looks like he's gonna get pressed. Um, and then now, as you can see here, I mean, this is really good coverage defense. And then 
you know, you have that guy manned up. So if he runs a fade, a straight, no matter what he runs, you're going to have him. Now, let's say again that they motion. Let's say they motion this guy. If they motion this guy, this guy's going to follow him. That's just because I moved him. This guy's going to follow him. So all you need to do is just recheck into cover one hole or just let him or just reman him up. And now we're back in that same defense we were in prior where we get it we're getting that nice uh, that nice press on both sides of the field and then we still have the that that quarter coverage um, to be able to defend anything over the top and then there you can see one of the many reasons why big nick rover g is one of the best defenses in the game it's got some of the best pressure in this game so you can kind of use this against any spread uh any spread type set like spread two by two, spread three by one. You could use this against empty sets. Um, one of my favorite sets to use this against is actually any kind of like doubles type of set. And the reason why is most people um, that run doubles, they kind of run it like trips tight end motion over, right? That's basically the same look. And where this can be very helpful is again, now you have resources um, to be able to defend those outside guys. So it's basically box in one zone, if you will, on the running back. That's who we're really trying to defend in all this is basically the running back. And if you know anything about defending the running back, you put a bluff blitz on the side of the running back and it will help you defend the running back. So you see here, running back gets matched. Outside quarters do a great job and you see the pressure just comes in super fast again. So those are some of the pieces of the puzzle when we talk about defending spread. What this is going to do for you is it's going to give you great coverage against spread sets and really limit their playbook. They're going to have to go down to these compression sets um, or they're going to have to get creative with some of their route combos. But you're going to be able to take away some of the big stuff, some of the deep boat post bombs, some of the seam streaks, some of that stuff that a lot of people like to try to run from these formations, all from either a cover one hole or cover three match style of coverage, which are basically the same, very similar coverages just in terms of why they were originally created. Um, this is kind of an Alabama type of, type of defense that I really like. Um, what I would want to really quickly point out before I end the video is a little bit of a tip against spread. So let's say they're motioning from trips into spread, or let's just say they come out in spread in general. One of the things you don't want to do, and it's really important, one of the things that you don't want to do is you don't want to assume that this inside quarter is going to play like a traditional cover four quarters inside quarter. It's not going to. And what you, and I'll show you why. So like if I, let's say, so I'm like thinking, okay, he's going to take number two vertical if number two goes vertical. So I'm just going to put him in a quarter and I'm going to put him in a quarter. And what you're going to, you're going to be a little disappointed because what's going to happen is if they do something like this concept right here, a little Y cross action, you'll see that this tight end is going to cross the face of that quarter and he will ignore him. He's going to play more like a trick. Unfortunately, unfortunately, if you do it like this, um, they play a little bit more like traditional inside quarters out of like a cover four drop. Now that can be helpful in some scenarios, but in most scenarios, it's not really what we're looking for, which is why the best way to defend, this is more of a, this is more of a check, but basically the best way is this. Then let's say they audible or they motion into something that looks like this. Now, it makes sense to put this guy in a quarter and then you'll see here that he'll roll to the three and then the outside guys are still gonna do their thing. So that's kind of the pro tip with all this is know when to quarter, know when to not. And it, a lot of it depends on formation. If they're in two by two versus three by one, there's some, some subtle nuances that hopefully we're able to break down in this video for you. This is also really important, again, with motion. If they're motioning from trips tied in to doubles, it's a little bit of a different thing that you need to do to get the best coverage possible, which is all we're trying to do here is give you the best resources uh, to be able to play defense at a high level. This is just the tip of the iceberg with some of these concepts. Um, I would really encourage you, if you've not already joined our Patreon page, to do that. It's only $10 to sign up, and it gets you access to everything, all of the stuff we've been working on all year long. Uh, I've got 335 odd, 245 odd, big nickel, uh, double A gap. I got so many stuff, so many um, 
ebooks in there. We've got over 27 offensive and defensive guides. The Big Nickel is just the latest one. In my opinion, it's the best one. And it really dives deep into not only what you can do from a blitzing perspective, but it teaches you how to blitz. It teaches you how to get really good pass rush. It teaches you how to stop the run. It teaches you how to have incredible coverage defense. It teaches you how to improve your match coverage, your zone drop coverage, your main coverage. Everything is in this guide and I'd really encourage you to grab it. It's only $10 to sign up for the membership and get you access to everything. So if you wanna sign up for that, that'll be linked in the description of the video. And if you wanna check it out, just head on down there and go check out the membership.